Hey everybody, it's Jen. Um, I have a client that I'm going to be working on today, so I thought I would do a get ready with me. So I thought I would share with you the makeup that I'm going to wear when I go to do her makeup. Um, it's a trial tonight for an upcoming wedding for her, and she's just trying out my skills and see how she likes it. Uh, and I don't want to go crazy glam. I'm going to go and do that tonight, so I thought I would just do like a neutral glam today, and I wanted to do this with you guys, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in all those pores on my face that are really exposed and large. And I'm going to use my Skin Refine Zone Prep and Prime Treatment. Um, this is a MAC product that I have depotted and I've just put into a little sample jar. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face where I feel my pores are open. And you really use this very sparingly, like you don't need a whole lot at all. But it works so well. I love this stuff. So the next thing I'm going to apply is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And that just goes all over my eyelids, all the way from the lid, all the way up to the brow. And I just use the pads of my ring fingers to do that. Because... I don't need that much and also a tiny bit goes a long way so as long as you're using your fingers it's warming up the product and you can feel everywhere that you've applied so there isn't going to be streaking and you know it's going to be applied evenly. Next I'm going to apply my MAC. This is the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'll show you the bottom there. I'm sure you all have seen that but I'm going to use this just over like the lid area of my eye. So I'm going to take a little um, EB13 brush from Sedona Lace, which holy grail, love these brushes, and just apply that sparingly all over the lid, just to cancel out like any redness, and then I'm actually going to take it up just a bit. I do have a lot of redness on my eyes, and I do have quite a few imperfections right now, so... This just really helps to clean all that up. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bronzer that I'm trying to hit pan on, or I'm trying to pan it anyway, I've hit pan already, uh, and I'm just going to take my other EB13 brush and load that up, and that's just going to go right in my crease area. It's a very orangey based bronzer, like I'm sure you can see the color of that. It's just really orangey based and light, so I don't really love this color, but it works great as a transition shade, so that's basically all I've been using it for. So rather than going into every single shade and compact and palette and everything that I'm using, um, especially on the eyes, I'm just going to give you colors and then if you guys want to recreate it, you can try that using your own palettes and stuff like that because I don't assume that we all have the same stuff. Um, but I am going to be using the like creamy, it's basically the same shade as my skin, but it's like a creamy beige shade and that's just going to go right underneath my brow. It's quite mattified. It has a tiny, tiny bit of like a shine to it. It's almost like a matte satin mix. But I just want to make sure that underneath my brow is very solidly creamy. So I'm just going to press that into the under part of my brow there. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the EB13 brush and I'm going to go in with a little deeper of a beige tone and I'm going to blend those two shades together, which you don't actually need a medium shade, but because I have so much base, I always go in with a third color there just to kind of bring those two together without it looking choppy and harsh. So you can still see the transition shade, but you can see how it goes gradiently up to the cream color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a deep brown shade on the inner and outer portions of my eyes. And for that, I think I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. contour brush. And I haven't used this in a while, so I'm hoping this works. <laughs> 
So I'm just going to take a deep brown matte shade and I'm just going to press that on the outer portion and inner portion of my eyes. So I am just pulling the color across the top of the crease with my eye partially shut and it doesn't have to be super duper clean and neat. It just has to go across um, because we're going to go and blend into that later with another shade. But I want to make sure that it's deep but not so deep that it kind of looks too much. And then over top of that I'm going to use a little bit of my Museum Bronze from MAC. And I'm going to take like the littlest amount and press it on a Kleenex because I just want to go over it to give it a little bit of shimmer but not too much. And it is quite a bit lighter than um, the brown that we were using, like the mattified brown color. So I'm just going to go in with that and sort of bring out a little bit more of a reflection in the shade. Like very little. So to deepen this up just a little, I'm going to take my 407 angled brush and I'm going to go in with a little bit of a black. And this black has some sparkle to it. And I'm just going to apply that in the outer portion of the eye. So that will just give the eye a little bit more dimension. So next I want to buff out the outer edge of all that dark color and I'm going to go in with a medium-ish brown shade and I'm just going to bring this all over the crease area and this is like just a matte medium brown shade. You can use whichever shade you like. You can use your regular transition shade. You can use something a little bit deeper. Um, I'm using something a little, a little deeper than I would normally go with but I want something that's contrasting and then I'm gonna go over that again with a smaller brush with something that's going to blend the two together nicely. Next I'm gonna take a reddish brown shade and that's just gonna go right over top of that crease um, right where we blended out those other two colors and this is basically just to warm it up again and bring in a little bit more dimension and you don't have to do this I'm not going to put that much on there but you can already see like this eye has a little more warmth to the crease and this eye is just a little bit more plain and I do like a little bit more warmth and contrast to my look so I'm just throwing a touch more of a reddish brown in there So now that I'm basically done the outer portion of the eye, I'm going to do the center and I'm going to go in with a really vibrant, like a champagne-y color. And I'm debating between two, but I think, I think I'm going to go a little more subtle than crazy. So I'm just going to take what's left on my brush of my soft ochre paint pot and I'm just going to throw that on the center of the lids just to clean up. Actually, I'm going to grab more because I want to clean up the spot where the shadow is going to go a little more. 
And I'm going to go in with like a nice champagne-y color. Um, I thought I would give this one more shot before I let it go. And so I'm just going to take that on my finger and just press it on the center of my eye. Just to give it that nice like halo effect. And then I'm just going to take a brush and blend all around there to make that less harsh around the champagne color and so everything kind of flows together. Now, since I am not doing eyeliner today I'm just going to come back after cleaning up under my eyes and I'm going to do mascara and false lashes. So I'm just going to apply a very light coat of my Marc Jacobs uh, mascara and this is in Blackour or however you want to say that. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm just going to apply that really lightly on my lashes and then I'm just going to put falsies on because um, I just want this to look really nice and natural and effortless. So you can see already just adding mascara livens up the look. It's very soft and natural but it gives it a little bit of impact. So that's it for my mascara. Now time for false lashes. Okay, so how I start my eyelashes is usually in the center, but I like to make sure that they line up with the first lash. So I'm just going to apply those right about there. And then press them in with my tweezer to line up with the first eyelash hair and then just set the rest. So it looks still natural because it's on the, the lash line and it's mixed in with my natural lashes and it is like at the same start as it would be on the other eye. So I'm just going to get that one on now. So here are the eyelashes done. Uh, the glue is a little bit wet still on um, this eye so I just have to wait for it to dry a little more. It's a little tacky still and kind of moving but um, they do look pretty natural and they're just beautiful. They are the Ardell 105 black lashes. They are just stunning. I love them. They're so flirty and because I have so much space here, I can wear a big full lash. And my, my lashes are naturally long anyway, so when I wear shorter ones, it doesn't look as nice and natural. But I do love these. So those are the 105 by Ardell. Um, now I'm going to get started on the rest of my face. So first I'm going to use Fix Plus. And I don't want to use a lot, I just want to use enough. Um, my skin is a little bit oily but um, I still need hydration so I like to use that sometimes before I put on my primer and then oh my gosh I'm dropping everything and then I'm going to use my primer from MAC which is the um, natural radiance primer in radiant pink and my trusty little duo fiber stippling brush from elf and it's the large one and I'm just going to spackle this all over my face So I'm going to use a bit of my um, face and body foundation from MAC and I'm mixing it, well I have already mixed it to be honest, um, with whatever was left from my 2.0 foundation and that one has already been returned as a back to MAC because I just depotted it into this little sample jar. So I mixed them together so that I could use up like starting both and um, I've put that on the back of my hand so you guys can see that there. And I'm just going to take my Sedona Lace 480 brush, which I love for applying my foundation. And I'm just going to, again, put that all over my face. Then 
Then I'm going to use a little bit of my NW20 concealer from MAC. Just a little bit on my foundation brush. And I'm just going to press that in and around my lower eye area just to clean that up and get rid of some of the redness. I'm going to set that with my MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder and that's just going to go on a really nice fluffy brush and I'm just going to lightly dab that all over the area. Just to set that. So I'm going to use two foundation powders and the first one is a Revlon one which I just really use around my contour area because um, it's a little dark for me right now. So as you can see, it's just a, a light contour right now. It's just giving my face some shape. Then I'm going to take my other powder that I love and hold very dear and put those on the higher point of my face. And basically anywhere I didn't apply the other foundation powder. So I'm just going to add a very small touch of contour down the side of my nose. I don't really like using a bronzer for this, but I'm just doing it today because it just needs to be quick to get the effect. And I'm just going to bring that down into the front so that it, this top part here of my nose doesn't look so bulbous. I love makeup. And then under the lip, I really want my bottom lip to look much fuller, so I love I love using that as a, an effect. And then for my blush, I'm just going to use one that kind of resembles um, NARS Orgasm, but I'm just going to use it sparingly because I may put another one on top. That's a little more natural because this one has such a sheen to it, but it's really pretty, but it doesn't last very long. Then I'm going to take that other one with the same large brush and just lightly blot over top of that to dumb down all the shine. I think that looks a lot better. It was a little too much just before. Um, and then I'm going to contour kind of lightly because I don't like this contour powder. Ugh. And I'm just going to do a little bit underneath the cheekbone. Temples. And that's pretty much it for that part of the face. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to use a different highlighter today. I'm going to use my Lumi highlighter from L'Oreal because I want to start trying all the ones that I got when I went on my trip. Um, because I bought them for a reason, I'm trying to find the one that's perfect for me. And I know this one's a little bit too glittery for what I'm going for today, but I figure I'm going to try it anyway. So um, it's the Icy, what is this one called even? Ice. It's just called ice. <laughs> so that's it there. And I'm just going to take a, what is this, angled foundation brush from e.l.f. I'm just going to swirl those all around a bit. Oh, this looks like it's going to be extremely pigmented. And I'm going to just dust that over top of the cheekbone. That wasn't so bad. And then I am just going to cake it on my upper lip. I 
I just love that like contouring around the mouth. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, I will leave, I think, everything else except I'll run a touch down this part of my nose because it's dipped there and I want to make sure it comes out a bit. And then lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss. Um, I'm going to be using stuff that I'm panning, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now because I don't really want to show you guys what I have left and ruin the surprise. me start to finish i hope you guys enjoyed this i really liked creating this for you um i do notice that this lash is kind of like getting clumpy in the front portion so these may have to be retired soon but i love this look thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys again later bye